to add midtone to the image like this why for our highlights i'm just going to click on this place right here and click on this highlight right here to add our highlight to the image so right now we have our shadows we have our midtones and we have our highlights so after that i'm just going to click on okay hello youtube today here and i'm going to show you guys how to even add skin tone using grid depth map in photoshop so let's get started so as you can see the face and the neck and this hand right here on the skin are not looking even so i'm just going to show you guys how to make it look even in case you have a situation like this so this is a very easy and fast method the first thing you have to do is come to your adjustment layer so just click on your gradient map right here and you are going to see a black and white like this if you don't see a black or white just open your gradient and just come to your basic and just click on this um, foreground to background or this one right here whichever you want to use but just if you click on this foreground to background you're going to see something like this and click on ok now the next thing you are going to do is come to your blend mode and just change your blend mode to color and you are going to get black and white like this and change this place right here to classic so after doing that next you are going to do you are going to invert your layer mask so just click on ctrl i to invert your layer mask so after that you come to your properties and click on this gradient up here and next you are going to do right now just click on down here and just click on it and add here to 50 because we are going to make this middle of the mid tone so just click on 50 like that so right here this, this is going to be our shadows this is going to be our meetings and this is going to be our highlights so just click on ok and come back again so to change the colors right here click on this shadows area and just pick on any part of the image you want to be your shadows so right here is the shadow so i'm just going to click on it right here to add shadows to this area why for the meetings i'm just going to pick on any part of the skin to add meetings to the image so i think this part right here see it's good for me tones so i'm just going to click on it to add me tones to the image like this why for our highlights i'm just going to click on this place right here and click on this highlight right here to add our highlight to the image so right now we have our shadows we have our me tones and we have our highlights so after that i'm just going to click on ok and what we're going to do right now we're going to be brushing that um colors to the whole image to even them out So just pick your normal brush too and make sure your opacity is 100 your flow is 100 and make sure your foreground color is set to white because the mask is on black so make sure your foreground color is set to white right here and just start painting on the image so just paint on the image like this so you can see it's making the image look a little bit saturated but don't worry about that we are going to fix that after so just paint on the image to make the colors look even like this so as you can see right now we're having an even colors on the image so i'm just going to paint on the neck like this as well so when you're doing this uh, just make sure you are careful when doing this and just take your time to do it because you don't want to brush on the highlights or on the dress of the model so just take your time to do this step like that so i'm just going to paint only on the skin area like that i'm just going fast about it like this okay so you can see the skin tone are looking even now and don't worry about the um, saturation we're going to fix that okay i'm going to do the same thing for here all right now i'm just going to erase it from the part which i don't want so just pick your um switch to your black brush by clicking on x or your keyboard and just paint it away from the part you don't want so i'm just going to paint it out of the background like this i'm going to paint it out of her dress like this i don't want it to affect her dress and the background and switch to air uh, press x or your keyboard again to switch to, to white and just paint it on this area i think i removed it from this area i'm just going to paint it back in like this okay now these are before and these are after these are before and these are after to face the saturation that is showing on the screen right now all you have to do is play with your opacity so just come to your opacity and just reduce the opacity until you feel the image is looking natural and okay so i think i'm just going to reduce the opacity of this one to about 35 or 30 let's say 30 
think 30 is okay and now let's see the before and after this is the before you can see the skin not looking even and this is the after you can see the skin are looking even right now so guys that's how you even out your skin tone using good at map in photoshop and if you enjoyed this video or you learned anything from this video make sure to give this video a like so that more people can see this video and learn from this video as well i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative